Welcome back to Mario Kart. Now that everything is unfrozen and I've explored everything that has been unfrozen between Bonfire 1 and 2 and Bonfire 2 and 3, it's time to see what's been unlocked from the inner wall forwards. Suppose I should take you out so you don't shoot me in the back. Really? I missed that backstab? Okay. What does this do again? Uh, I guess it just... opened this? And apparently I can't close it. Alright. Oh, yeah. There's gonna be a lot in this room now, isn't there? Oh, boy. Okay, I can't kill the enemies inside of there. I need to draw them out. Because otherwise those big... Those big bastards will activate. But wait a minute, they're not going to come with me, are they? Well, this is going to be a problem. Alright, let's see if that can bait them to come. Come on. Come on. Whoa! Okay, good, yes, you come. You come. Good to see I haven't lost my touch for making people come. Magic fingers, they call me. Let's hope this is far enough away. Okay, did not activate them. Good. Come on. I don't think I can get them to come. Alright, let's get this big bastard. Well, bigger bastard. Let's destroy these barrels, because I can. Yes, 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 come this way, come this way, it's good, it's good. Ow. Come on. You were heading this direction before, just a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sidestepping in a weird way. I'm going to soften you up. Alright, fuck it. Come on, wake up. As long as I only activate one at a time. Come on. Come on. Oh, what's wrong? You missing your head? I can give you head if you want. Hopefully he'll follow me up here. I think this might... You know, I was wondering what this place was intended for here, because it's just empty. Maybe it's intended as a battle arena. Or not, if this dude won't follow me. Oh, okay. Can't catch me! Ow. You got me!
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Wait a minute, you don't even seem like you're activated. How did you wake up? It's because I killed the other guy above him, but if, if that's so, then shouldn't the souls have gone into him? He's not blue. Maybe if he just killed the... I killed his brother, so he woke up. Alright, come on, come up. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Now come here. Come here. Ow. That's not nice. I could just leave him, I suppose. I do want all those uh, chests back there, though. <sighs> I don't have time to dodge that. Alright, one more strong attack and he's down. Yeah, they're not too bad. You just gotta be patient. And hopefully have nothing else trying to attack you. And that thing's a mimic. I can tell because of the pixels. Be wary of mimicry. For once, they're actually not lying. Be wary of sadness, that's an interesting way to put it. God damn, those things are so creepy. Symbol of Avarice. It's a chess piece. Or, wait. Oh, that was a chess piece. Didn't they have an armor symbol? Huh? Oh, there it is. Oh my god, you can wear it? <gasps> Headpiece depicting the avaricious creature that mimics treasure chests. Increases soul absorption and item discovery. Hmm. There's a curious tale of an incorrigibly covetous ancient deity. Clearly it has currency amongst some miscreants, or this would have been this would have never been crafted. Oh my god. Now that is a good Halloween costume. It's even got... It's even got a, a wet, dangly tongue. Look at that thing. Look at it jiggle. That looks kind of creepy, but also kind of really stupid at the same time. What's his armor? 72, compared to 140. Okay, so it's terrible. But it doesn't apparently, it apparently increases your chance to get stuff, though. How did I just drink that? I can't even find my mouth hole.
This actually kind of blocks my view. Damn chest head. one of these bastards. There we go. Yeah, this thing is actually really distracting. As cool it is, as cool as it is, <laughs> I'm going to put on my normal thing. Kill you? Aren't I gonna wake, th awaken three of them? Oh, but there's a chest in the middle of them. Try attacking and then hurrah for chest. Wait a minute. Yeah, what happens if you attack them before you activate them? Well, she heard it. Wait a minute. Whoa. I did damage. You can... I could just kill them without even waking them up? Score. Well, that's easier. Oh, right. I didn't think of that. Well, still, it's still the right thing to do, though. You get one freebie. And it looks like if you kill one thing, then it can only activate one other thing. Ooh, I dodged, out a, dodged just in time with that, for that one. My swords are really taking a beating. They're at about 30%. Let's open this up before I kill the last one. Curved Nil Greatsword. Interesting. See if I can find it on image alone. It's a great sword, so it's got to be in the great sword section. Hmm. Is it this? Yes. 200 damage at base. Doesn't use faith or anything like that, which is good. A great curved sword with an ominous blade. One of the forbidden weapon weapons sealed away by the Ivory King. Formed by rock, tree, and the remnants of a most peculiar soul. It is said that the farther its wielder travels, the deadlier the blade becomes. Hmm. I wonder if that's just a bit of lore or if that's actually true. And if so, how would that work? Let's see what this thing looks like. Whew. That thing is really cool looking. Yeah. Some interesting moves. It's got two different strong attacks. What if I do a three hit combo with a light attack? One, two, three. 
It's actually pretty fast to attack. Let's see how fast I can break out of the attack and dodge. So attack and then dodge. Eh, pretty fast. How does it feel to have one hit point? Not too good? Uh. Alright, so this is the way that was frozen. So I couldn't even go this way at all. Nothing left but a couple cubes. Secrets? No secrets. Oh, shit. My swords are almost broken. Oh. Maybe I should run up here. Because I could repair my swords, but the thing is, I'm pretty low on Estus, too, so... Alright, at least this dude will come. Could just ignore you. Pointless. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's got 450 votes. I agree. Unless, by killing them, there's like a secret pathway behind them. But if they just said pointless, then probably not. moving. So something's moving. It's you. I know you're kind. You make weird noises when you're idle. Alright, so that's where I started, that bonfire. Nice job. Nice job, by the way. Shortcut ahead. Shortcut? Oh! That's another dude to recruit to my cause. Join me, friend. That actually might be all the knights. Don't you dare. Yeah, what would happen if you tried to kill him? It seems like a very stupid thing. Uh, before I go that way. Let's go get the item. Illusion ahead. Sure. Crock of shit. You weren't lying. This might be the first illusion ahead message that's told the truth. I'm gonna upvote you. I am amazed. Where does this go? I don't know. I'm scared. Probably lead somewhere cool. But uh, first let's unlock the shortcut. Okay. Where is 
this? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's easy to get to. It's right after the big boss. In fact... Before I go to the secret place, I might as well just refresh all my stuff, huh? And go level up, too. Just enough. <laughs> Just enough. I almost want to increase my dexterity just so I can check out that uh, that greatsword that I just got, because I think the one thing I'm lacking is dexterity. Technically, I'm lacking strength, too, but if I double-hand it, I don't think that's a problem. Hold on, how much dexterity do that need? Twenty-six? Hmm, that's pretty far away. Nah. There until. Keep going with stamina, I guess. I don't know if it's worth it. Hmm. Honestly, it really almost doesn't matter where I put my points. Uh, but if I increase my dexterity, I could experiment with more weapons, but I'm not... Honestly, I'm not going to use more weapons, though. Nah, I'm going to go with stamina. Can I destroy these statues on my own? Nope. Only the giant tiger can do it. Take minor fall damage. I suppose I could fix that. Two of them. See where this goes. for treasure. I didn't even see this place up here. A fire clutch ring. Clutch. Oh, not gonna be jumping down there. I would be regressing. I 
Ah, right. Same as all the other clutch rings. Increases the attack of fire or lightning or whatnot. Same description. Yep. Oh, sweet. Managed to get just one. <laughs> well, that weapon disappeared into the stratosphere. Those are so easy to dodge. Backstabs for days. Yeah, there's an enemy on the left. If I can get there fast enough, I could maybe push him off. Ah oh god, don't jump down. Ah! Oh. Down. Yes. Looking for secrets. It's the sound of secret searching. Heading, ultimately. Here? What? Losery wall? There's nothing here. What are you talking about? Oh, finally! <laughs> you have to go over, like, the entire map, just come right back to here to get to this one raised part from the bonfire that you couldn't get to before. And what is my reward? Twin-headed great bow. I don't use bows, but that sounds pretty badass. A great bow made of animal bone, the fine craftsmanship suggests that it originates in Lanifer. The unusual design appears to have ceremonial implications, but may simply be intended to intimidate foes. What does it require? 41 strength? If I dual handed I can get up to 40, but damn. Oh my god. Holy shit, that is badass. I gotta shoot something with this. Uh, I suppose a great bow shoots great arrows. Use my iron ones, the shittiest ones. <laughs> Did you want to say something to me? Huh? Huh? Yeah, I didn't think so. Look at my form. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. How do you aim with this damn thing again? 
Ah, there we go. That doesn't even look remotely as cool. Man, shooting this thing once takes up literally almost all my stamina. out of her head. Oh my god, that looks painful. What about your leg? You want to take an arrow to the knee? Uh, close enough. much damage when my skill in wielding it is terrible. Mm. Actually, you know what? I'm only getting a minus 28. It's not terrible. Not a massive penalty. Ooh! This thing is very fast at attacking coming out of a roll. Look at that. That might be faster than my... Falchions. What about a back step and then attack? Okay. Yeah, let's see how that compares to this. To the roll and then attack. Yeah, it's not faster, but it's basically the same speed. It's actually impressive. Also, I don't believe I ever actually got to the other side here. Maybe you never can? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, well, that has been conquered. Lower garrison I already did. Um, I think the only things left are the expulsion chamber, reindeer, horrible place. And here. I think I've recruited everybody that I can. Let's go take a look and make sure that's true. See if she has anything new to say. They're ready to take up their swords for me. Yeah, four separate seats, four separate soldiers. I think I'm ready to go. But, do I want to do the expulsion chamber outskirts place first? I am missing a Ferris's lockstone, but I have no guarantee that I'll actually find one by going deeper into here. Huh. I feel like I should do the Expulsion Chamber first. Because this feels like the end here. This feels like the beginning of the end when I go into here. Yeah, I think I will. Which I'm not looking forward to because that place is really, really hard. You know, when I'm on the outskirts, do you think if I roll myself in the snow, making myself all white, that maybe the deer won't be able to see me? It'll be like camouflage. As long as I just keep rolling. As long as I keep rolling, they won't be hating. Eh, sounds plausible. Well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I will take a journey in my sledge coffin down to the outskirts. <laughs>